If you could close that achievement gap between black kids and white kids, what do you think you could solve in society today? <laughs> Things like um, income disparities, wealth disparities. I'm not saying they will be totally gone, but I'm saying that I think some significant portion of that we would alleviate if we could close the achievement gap. I'll never forget it. I walked to the studio with Diary of a Mad Black Woman. And um, a lot of the people that, you know, are, are my following are church people. Mm, black people who go to church don't go to movies. I wanted to always be the man who owned the house rather than the man who was working on it. In black America, one man makes it, too many don't. I did make some better choices, but I was allowed to make those better choices. I was encouraged to make those better choices. When you're black, your skin color is always in the equation. People forget that some people were born on third base. Other people have to start off at home and they have to hit a home run. My understanding of God is I'd like to help people while they're still on earth. So why don't we cut a deal? I'll come work with you at your church as a volunteer. You get people to heaven and I'll, and I'll do the earth piece and we'll be partners. So you were reading it as these are my roots. These are my roots, yes. I think we've made quite a bit of progress. It's an honor for us to be an example of progress. This is the American dream. We work very hard. And at the end of the day, when you go home, you want something nice to go to. 100% of our graduates go on to college. 100%. 100%. Every child who graduates. Every child who graduates from capital prep goes on to a four-year college, period. figure out how to band together and like make something bigger and better and more powerful. I'm black <laughs> and I'm African American and I'm, I'm accepting of that, I'm proud of it.